Hi, this is Colin with Maker Farm. In this video, we're going to show you how to put together the X carriage on your TiVo tarantula. You're going to need bag A-8, bag A-9, your tool parts bag, bag B-6-1. You're going to need this acrylic piece, your pre-assembled hot end, and you're going to need an end stop. To start, we're going to peel the paper backing off of this acrylic piece. Now go ahead and grab bag A-9 and your acrylic piece. Go ahead and sort out some of your hardware. And just like as in the other videos, we're going to go ahead and assemble the Delrun idlers. But first we're going to actually install the end stop on the acrylic panel. And that hardware is going to be bag A-8. There's going to be two really small, really thin bolts and two really small nuts. And here are both of those. You're going to get your end stop. You'll notice the two holes on the side. There's a flag. I'm actually installing it backwards in this video. So the flag is going to be towards the front of the machine instead of how it's shown here in the video towards the back of the machine. Go ahead and install the bolts from the bottom and then install the nuts on top. Then go ahead and use some pliers and a wrench to tighten down those bolts and nuts. Now back to building the Delrin idlers. Just as before, we're going to put a Delrin idler on, two lock washers, and a nylon spacer. Repeat this process once. Now we're going to do the eccentric one, so a Delrin idler, one M5 washer, and an eccentric spacer and repeat the process. Now we're going to go ahead and install those in the acrylic piece. The ones with the nylon spacers go in the small holes. and the eccentric spacers go in the large ones. When you do tighten these down, make sure the Delron wheels still turn so that they're not too tight, but also we don't want them too loose to where the whole bolt and wheel will wiggle. Next, go ahead and grab bag B-6-1. It has a fan in there and also some screws. We're going to install the fan onto our pre-assembled hot end. There's a few different sizes of bolts in this bag. We're going to take these really small bolts and just put them back in the bag. We're not going to use those. Now, if you get four of the 
longer remaining bolts. The short ones will not fit, so you need to make sure to get the long ones that will go all the way through. And your hot end, we're going to turn it so the fan is facing the heat sink. I also have my wire going out at the same side as the wires on the hot end. And then go ahead and put those longer bolts into the four holes of the fan and screw those into the heat sink. Now we're going to get the X carriage. We're going to align the hot end in the X carriage, then get the remaining four bolts and put them through the acrylic piece and we're going to screw those into the hot end to secure it in place. Don't over tighten this. You can crack the acrylic if you tighten it too much, but we don't want that hot end to wiggle.